everyone, this is the Lemon Gamer here, and today we are playing the second part of our Let's Play of NBA 2K15. Let's begin. What's in that little unloading? I'll turn off the mic and let you see it load. Okay, here I am back. Timberwolves leading by 22. Hey, oh, oh. Timberwolves as our second quarter is underway. Oh, oh. Orgy Dang is out there with Bekovic. Then it's Williams. Buck up. And it's Brewer in a the small forward position. <laughs> He <laughs> called me G. Why not say gamer? <laughs> the eight footer. And the shot is long. Okay. You'd expect him to nail that one being that close to the hoop. Steven Adams from New Zealand, the first team. He caught every draft in the first round. And Kevin, he played rugby growing up. He says that it helped him prepare for the physicality of the game inside. Now here's Jackson. A tremendous game he played against Cleveland. Feeds it to Adams. Addition out to land. Six to shoot. And that one's good. Mm. <laughs> got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period. He meant to Adams score. Wow, he was just wide open there. That's way too easy. Looking at the last game for the Minnesota Timberwolves, it was a loss to the Hawks in Atlanta. They had major problems at the charity strike in that game. And it's interesting that they could not make free throws. Yeah, and that's frustrating to watch, especially on the road where your opportunities at the line tend to be a little more sparse. And when you're at home, boy, you've got to cash in on it. Here's Tang. Right now averaging five points a game. Again, Collison, and he gets it to go. Boom. And it's seven points for Nikola Pekovic. What a great possession, guys. Got a really good look there. Difficult situation for Oklahoma City. Here's Lamb. Rebound, Minnesota. I think he kind of alligator arm that one, short stroked it. After doing a nice job to get open, he didn't finish the shot. 
Williams kicks to Brewer. Pekovic again. It's Jones. So he gets the whistle on Jack on the way up and two shots coming up. Well, Nikola Pekovic battering ram style of play, but really soft hands for a big guy. I think that make that combination makes him one of the most effective inside scores in the league. He's not the NBA leader in points in the paint every season. He's not far off. A great post-up score. Something you see less and less of now. And even off the ball. A great offensive rebounder and finisher. He punishes you on the inside. Pekovic has been playing well. He has eight points. And he's managed to get four of his points by way of the free throw line. And that may not be the first thing people notice about his performance, but those are important points nonetheless. Serge Ibaka has checked in for Oklahoma City. Morrow comes in for Jones. He's perfect from the line this time. When you face the Oklahoma City Thunder, one of the things defensively that you have to prioritize is keeping them out of transition. <laughs> this team is long and athletic. And nice dance, Matt Scott. Court, yeah, you're in big trouble. Now here's Jackson. He's got eight. Oh, shit. He feeds it tomorrow. My second card to have, my card to have the heart attack. Wiggins kicks to G. That is young on the wing. But no, he passed. Okay, I passed. Nice. <laughs> and the Thunder in the half court, more of a jump shooting team. And sometimes that can be a backhanded compliment. Oh, shit. Wrong <laughs> button again. Even Reggie Jackson. You know, all pretty good from mid-range. So they spread you out, and then, of course, Durant's jump shot is uh, pretty much unguardable. Let's go to our sideline reporter, Doris Burton. Doris, what do you have? Thank you, Kevin. Andrew Wiggins was the second consecutive Toronto native taken first overall in the NBA draft. He called it a great thing, saying before this, no player from Canada has been number one. And now we have two back-to-back -back number ones. So it's a huge accomplishment. It just opens so many more doors for all the kids in Canada. Guys, back to you. It's something oh, else, shit. all right. Thank you, Doris. We're going to use time it. After Jeremy Lambsmith. Boom. And that one's good. Wiggins. Every once in a while, he'll kind of step out of his role and give you something like that. Oklahoma City comes into this one after the win again. It's the Cavaliers in Cleveland. <laughs> and I think, Kevin, you know, it really showed how important it is to have a strong bench performance. Hey. You go out on the road, you can't rely on your starters night in and night out. The reserves have to contribute and help them out. I think we definitely saw that, Steve, throughout the game. They were really tied together as a team. Didn't make any difference who was out on the floor. You'll take every road game win you can, and they're happy with that one. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Perkins comes in. Whoa. Okay. Inside a plus. Outside a post. A. K make up a minus block C plus steel B perimeter B minus inside C. Okay, do we want to do that? We're just over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. And of course, not the level of Westbrook, but he brings some similar things to the table as far as size. More winning got the move, so that's good. And the first one at the line is good. And 
Jackson, the former 24th pick overall, Clark back in 2011 out of BC, rounding into a quality NBA player and score one more for the Thunder's front office. Well, Oklahoma City seems to like that athletic player with size, toughness, and athleticism, and you know what? Jackson fits that mold. God's sake, can you skip it? No good on the second free throw. Take a look at what Jackson's been doing. He has nine points, and he's hit the mark twice from three-point range as well. Well, it's no secret. I mean, the more points he can come up with from out there, the better off they'll be offensively with their spacing. And that one's good. Boom. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with the way they work down low. Well, it's become one of the stories of the first half, Clark. Just piling up points in the paint. Outside Jackson. The feet tomorrow. And the foul. Oh, foul. That's a bloody foul. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Jang, he's checked in for Nikola Pekas. And Martin subbed in for G. I guess I'm spectating. Ooh. Look, I'm doing this if it's dinner. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far, hasn't been close. Minnesota on top, running away with this one. Stay with us, folks. We'll get back just after halftime to start the third quarter. Okay, okay guys. Tremendous work in the first half. These fans haven't had a thing to cheer about. Let's talk about how to keep it going. We've been strong on D, and it's a huge key to where we're at right now. Our defense leads to offense, and that sort of Thunder energy Wolves, is what's getting done. 529. But we have done a great job creating free throw chances. Driving the lane, attacking the basket. That happened. Ooh, hot yikes. Welcome back, everyone. I know, I didn't mean to press that, but okay. Let's go. You're in. Hey, well time. <laughs> Timberwolves leading by 22. Baca at the four with Perkins at the pivot. Morrow okay, is still winning. Thank God. Three. And it's Jackson in a the one. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Outside, Mark. Young again. Stubaka. Lock at six. Young inside. That one goes. Good. Sided game in just about every area. And absolutely, their offense and their D have been equal parts outstanding. And the Timberwolves making a change here. She's Get the fuck in. off here, mascot. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Get the fuck off here. Stupid mascot. Wait, so. Oh, they have the ball. Look at least them. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Oh, shit. Here's Can I get a red card? <laughs> a rebound by Pekovic. Pekovic has got his third rebound tonight. The Timberwolves have gone five and seven from the field in the third quarter. Let's see if they can keep it up. 
their head coach got Brooks really consistent with his message. It's all about defensive commitment and trusting your teammates in that end. She passes to Pekovic. And it's blocked by Brooks. And he gets it back. Oh. Timberwolves leading by 22. This is it to G. What the fuck you stupid fucker? I didn't understand. It's fucked up. Jackson with it. He's got 18. Morrow kicks to Jackson. Oklahoma City moving the ball around. And Durant gets double team. Thank you, Will. Thank you. you know, with the movement we've seen the last decade with teams heading to Oklahoma City and for a time Sacramento, is it time for the NBA to look at realigning some teams? Might not happen yet, but we're getting close to maybe a reshuffling being needed. Don't be all real. Ah, look at it. It's us. It's us. Steve, they they're open. Solid and they are executing out there. Here's Rubio from 13 feet. It goes down. Boom. He's got 12. As you said, it's something that will need to be addressed at some point. Some teams traveling pretty far within the division. It'll happen when the time is right. I and mean, there could be more teams shifting around or maybe expansion comes. Another one. That change is probably gonna happen Great, now we put them in. Steven Adams is checked in for Perkins. Allison comes in for Serge Ibaka. And Jeremy Lamb subbed in for Anthony Morrow. Get up. You're going in. Here we go. Peace be a good score. Peace be a good score. For Don't Jackson. lose. And then for Minnesota. Good, good. Wiggins is checked in for Nikola Pekovic. Martin comes in for JJ Barea. And Ricky Rubio is subbed in for Mo Williams. On the court for Minnesota. Rubio and Martin manning the back. Wiggins is out there with Corey Brewer and it's Young in a, the pivot spot manning the middle and Durant here we go no no coming off the pit Durant he's got seven now in this fourth oh, it's been a tail of two halves hasn't it guys <laughs> really picking it up and the thunder with some changes yeah. Oh, comes in for Nick Collison. In five, and Reggie six, Jackson six. subbed in for Steven Adams. Morky Dangs checked in for Minnesota. G comes in for Kevin Martin. Okay, we're going forward again. Seven left in the fourth quarter. Here's G. Guarded by Jackson. What the they tried to step in. Wolf foul? Just not quick enough. And what we the have the benefit of replay, but I think they got yeah, yeah. right, which is the case most times. Even <coughs> the fans that should don't be my so. score. 
And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Timberwolves. Guys, they've done a nice job of drawing countless fouls in this game, and as a result, they've gotten a ton of points at the line. And one other thing I would add is the mid-range game has been really impressive. I mean, they are they're showing great touch on some of those 15, 17 footers. good on the free throw. Hmm. Okay. And he sinks Boom. the second. And mark that bucket down, folks. That's the first career basket from G. Not anything spectacular there, but it's supposed to say gamer, but okay. Wiggins dishes the young. You still what the fuck? Stupid bastards. This kind of a blowout offer, but tonight this is a quality win across the board to deliver out uh, this, this kind of punishment. Well, you know what? I thought they did a nice D plus. Job what the against fuck? The game. They kept the pressure on. Clearly, we're dominant in every area. And so this will not, not stop using that. I'll just wait till it passes. You know, do that at D plus. Jesus Christ. The first game of the year to this club. And hard to say now how the final two games between them will play out, really. I mean, one thing's certain, though. They're going to be at each other's throats. We know that. This has become a very intense matchup. They throw good, Wiggins. How about Wiggins in this one? He's got 16 points, and he's also got one block to add to the mix today. Yeah, it's just a small part of oh, what's my been a solid overall contribution by him defensively. Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder. Jones check in for Durant. And Jeremy Lamb subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Minnesota also making some changes. Anthony Bennett check in for Young. We can foul! What the fuck? How's that a freaking foul? How is that a foul? That's his third foul so far. On a situation in effect, so we'll head to the free throw line for two. Uh, you look at Jeremy Lamb, physically 6'5", almost a 7-foot wingspan. Jumps well, he's got all Jesus the tools to be special Christ. at both ends of the floor. Oh, I'm still in the game. Go, go, go. And for Lamb, really, the only physical knock is that he needs to continue to get stronger, get friendly in that weight room. He's still under 200 pounds, and his high center of gravity means he can tend to get pushed around a little bit, but that's nothing that strength won't eliminate. So the weight room has to be his friend. And uh, 101 left to play in the final quarter. Here's Levine. And he gets the bucket. Yeah. And Jeremy Lance gave sort of a late bloomer. He didn't become a starter until his senior year, in fact, in high school. Yeah, he was lightly regarded. And even in his two seasons at UConn, he battled inconsistency at times. But you know, a solid start to his NBA career. Good size and length and shooting ability. And, of course, they've done a lot of good things here tonight, but the rebounds have played a major factor. Hey, Steve, you know rebounding always one of the key barometers in determining the victor. G kicks to Jack. I think no fuck! Oh, stupid fucking ball. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Go, 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 go. All sorts of problems with his shot. I'm not sure he even has a shot right now, Steve, to be quite honest. Not a reliable one anyway. Bean passes to Bennett. Come 
on. Buttinger dishes to Jang. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials saw the contact, and he'll shoot two. Easy call there. No question about that one. You can hear the impact from where I am. Nine sixty eight. And he knocks down the first one. Good. The Thunder making a switch here. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Here's Roberson. He dishes it to land. Pass to Rovers. Let's go. The put back, and it's slammed in by Perkins. He sniffed Wait, out that short and then powered it back in. Pure Mike Clark, so mm -hmm. strong going back up with that and one. That's exactly what he's capable of, guys. So strong. Oh. And so it's the Timberwolves taking care of business here. No, we won. You know, Clark, I got every team has a bad night. These guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night. There you go. Hey. You look like someone stole your lunch money. Shoot, might as well. I keep playing like this, man. I'm gonna be 10 days and gone. Have a little perspective, man. We won the game. That's what matters here, okay? I guess. Straight up. You can't expect to adjust to the NBA game in one night. Just keep working. Study film, put in time in the weight room every day. And before you know it, you'll be playing instead of thinking out there. All right? Run the subtitle show, for God's sake. Eh. Yeah, tomorrow's another day. Just gotta get back at it, right? You know it. All right, man. Long road in again. Here I am. Okay, uh, back. NBA nav. Options. Difficulty. 
Wookie not pro. <sighs> Korean story subtitles on. I got seventeen, yay! <laughs> Check they are on, you know. There you go. Okay, let's begin. Long loading again. Okay, so we're going. Let's go, you're up. My time. Good. Did you say Sydney? I didn't call my character Sydney. What the So fuck? it's the Celtics now. It's a five point game. They put up a nice win against the Celtics. Of course, the Gamer. I didn't call my character well, Sydney. What the fuck? That game that really led the charge. You know, the guys who normally don't score a lot, they came in and really. Okay, we're losing at the moment. Team performance, Steve. The kind you need. God, you, have to, win you have to get the ball, you have to get the ball. Yes, get the ball. Oh, no, why can you? At the two and three, it's Avery Bradley and Jeff Green. Olenek is out there with Brandon Bance. And it's Rondo in a, the point guard position. Just five on the clock. And there's the feed to Olenek. Stolen by Rubio. Come on, hit the ball. Hit the ball, hit the ball. Dunk it, dunk it. Booyah! Hit the nut. Okay. Oh, I have to 
is. Some of the numbers for Ricky Rubio. The past few weeks, he's been a major contributor. You can see where he ranks. He's right around 13 points a night, six assists, and just just over two steals. They've been able to count on him to run the show offensively. Watch this dunk, dunk it over there. Sensational passer. Yeah, he's been setting them up with a lot of easy baskets. Room service dimes. We call them one great look after another coming off of his uh -huh. pass. Yeah. Rondo kicks to Green. No. Bunker off. Throws it down. It's the point. Boy, he threw out some punishment with that two-hand throw down. Well, now is the time yeah. to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Timberwolves trail by five. Rajon Rondo won the NBA's elite playmakers. He's led the league in assists per game twice in the last three seasons. Great at keeping his dribble alive and forcing the defense to react. Oh, oh. Wonderful. Wonderful. Caliber. I got it. Here's got it. G. I got it. Guarded by Brad. Thaddeus Young on the oh. wing. Tom Young. Oh, young right side. It's a big height. Young's got six. Old team on fire right from the open two. Pedal to the throttle, Steve. Just like we like. I'm still on. Okay. You can do that if you want to, I'm not. defense there they've got to at least get a finger on it here's Williams averaging 12 points a game Okay, for me. Yes. Boy, you picked him out brilliantly with that feed inside. Thank you. Buddy. 58 seconds left in the first. Now oh, here's Smart. He's started by Williams. Oh, oh. Thornton. Pass to Turner. 
Takes it to Thornton. Back to Turner. Another shot. Nope. Misses off the yes. left eye. There's no getting around Keeper. the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. Ooh. And so lots of scoring in that competitive well, first quarter. Oh, we're doing but we're only two points down. Oh, hot woman. By three. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. Friday, January 30th. Nikola Pekovic and the Minnesota Timberwolves take on the Philadelphia 76ers. It's East and West. Big time hoops coming your way. Okay, thanks for the advert. I oh, didn't really see. <laughs> oh, hot women. Let's watch. And we welcome you back to start the quarter. Players had a chance to get hydrated with Gatorade. Certain to be some great basketball ahead for us. When you consider how the Celtics are doing, Stephen Clark, your thoughts? And they've done a nice job here offensively to establish a rhythm and a pace to this game. And I like that they're finding ways to score. Playing well here, Steve. Right now, have we good scores? Ah, ah, we're doing bad years. Forty-three, thirty-eight. Okay, not to here. So now I'll probably do that, you know. <laughs> Alright, listen up everybody. The second half doesn't have to be as close as the first if we pay attention to a couple of things. The first thing is that our ball movement has been solid. Keep it up. I want to see that ball continue to rotate around the perimeter until we get a good look. Now I'll give credit where credit is due. We've taken very good care of the basketball. Turnovers were scarce, and we need to keep it that way. And as soon as this quarter starts, we need to dedicate a lot of energy to working the offensive glass. I don't think they're going to be able to hold us down if we really hit the boards hard. We know we're up against a tough team tonight. Let's show them we're just as tough. Hmm. Second half of basketball. Minnesota needs to do a better job guarding again. Green. 13. And the Timberwolves making a change here. Pekovic has checked in. Make a play. Come on. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Well, the Celtics certainly Come on, get me in. They got off to a start that few thought they would achieve. Playing with passion can't cover up the holes in the roster. Rubio and Martin manning the back. Young up. They're picking up. And it's Wiggins in a the three, the small forward. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. Martin goes in. That's good. It's Rubio with the assist. In this
Ah, fine. Thank you. Let's take a second now to view the top pickpockets in the NBA. Juan John Rondo, fourth. You know, guys like him, Kevin, never give up on a play. I mean, they've got action defense, but they're always moving, looking to make a play and be in the middle of things. Celtics leading by 11. I got to give the Celtics credit, though. They were never really in contention for anything last year. But Clark, they played their heart. Yeah, they did play hard, played with energy. And that goes a long way to trying to build the foundation of being successful. Don't score, don't. Yes, baby. Oh, yeah. From the young star understudy to the leadership role. Former teammate, the truth, Paul Pierce said, no. Oh. He turned past it. He's got it. He's the captain. I think he's ready. Great endorsement from a terrific leader in his own right. High praise to Boris. Thanks. Minnesota making a switch. Corrina's checked in. Okay. Three minutes into the second half. <laughs> Outside Rondo. And Jeff Green no, on the first by Rondo. I didn't allow him to score. Rondo's he scored. Got I didn't allow him to score. different game in the pros than we see in college. A lot of differences, but if anybody can make that transition, I really think he's certainly the guy that could. He's bright, he's hard working, he communicates well, he's innovative, showed that innovativeness at the college yes. level. So I think he's got a oh, degree to become a college coach who is successful as an NBA coach. Rondo dishes to Olenek. to Bradley, the pointer, shot is off, and Minnesota now the other way, want to keep rolling here following the win against the Thunder, and guys, they could have won that game on the strength of their offense alone, it was that good, and to do it on the road too, I mean, the way they just kept coming at them and coming at them, they kept that crowd out of the game the entire time, that's good work. Green. Nekovic with a screen on Green. She <laughs> passes to Wiggins. That three off the mark. Dude, um, crowd from gaming. <laughs> green left side. Rondo. To green. Outside Brent. Fires the three. And the shot is. Mm, fuck's sake. I didn't allow him. Fuck's sake. Good shit here. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. Changes here for the Timberwolves. Dean comes in for Wiggins. Barely a good score. 
Oh, good. Bad for us, but good for them. Yeah, it's to two. Oh, Tim here I am. Buddy, 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 buddy. Well, tonight's battle is going to end with a very clear winner. Pass, pass, pass. Come on, come on. Win with the Celtics. They made more That's my team. That was the difference. Yeah. That was a huge advantage. The free throw game always a significant barometer. You know, back in the school. Yes, Central. Italian, the win column will be 26 on the year. And playing this team only twice on the year, they have to feel good about their strategy and execution. As tonight, they complete a season series sweep against the Timberwolves. Fantastic show put on. What an amazing game all around it was for Jeff Green. Just an outpouring of points from him. Nobody could do anything really uh, to stop him. On the court for the Celtics. Rajon Rondo is up. There was Smart. Then it's Thornton. Then it's Olenek. And it's Wallace in at the power full. And there's the defensive three second call. I got bad score for him doing a three second. He should have done not me. Why am I called Sydney? Tonight. I didn't call myself Sydney. Get duck kick, get duck kick. I'm a fucking, get fucking bastard. You know, I just love Kelly Olynyk's great <laughs> skill level. He can handle and shoot the ball beyond the arc, and also a polished low post score inside, so you can run offense through him, and that's a really a great dynamic for his team. He tore off a run. He's checked in for Rajon Rondo. Fifty-five seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's Thornton. No, 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 no. Ah, I didn't know how to score. Stop saying that, you stupid you game. Give you being the most athletic guy, but he does move well for mm. a big guy, and his touch is exquisite around the basket. Whether shooting the hook or flipping it in with the finger roll, he finds a way to get it up and down. Bean passes to Dang. Here's Levine. Here's G. Pass to Levine. For three, that drops. And Steve for a little more offensive play. Defense, sure. something he's got to work on. Yeah, he was foul prone last season, but I like his motor. Did better than expected on the boards. You know, he doesn't have a great wingspan, so he's not a shot blocker. But I think as he gets stronger, he can be a solid team defender. Come on, got a nine on. second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Stolen by the boom. Man. Time to, to just say it, guys. This game is over. I think you're right on target there. Gain some more points. Gain some more points. Yeah, but as it is, too little, too late. Boston's gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. Now, here's Smart. Guarded close. And the foul what the G. fuck? How's that foul? That was a perfect turnover. So that will be a second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. Okay, mm. let's sit here. Celtics making a change here. They not win this time. If he wins, it's that. Get them. He hits one and misses one each at the line. 
Come on. Come on, hit it. Hit it. Doing too good. Yep, we're going to lose the race. Yep, we lost. So it's easily grabbing this one. Not much to be critical of with this ring part. Not at all. I mean, they showed up not just to play, they showed up to give great effort and to win. They did both. And now let's catch up with Doris Burton, who's standing by on the sideline. Doris? Dawn and Heath, thank you. I didn't call myself said news. Fuck. Okay, uh. Long golden again. Hey, I'm back. Uh, one more game, I'd say. Yeah, why not one more game? Begin. It's game time in Philadelphia as the crowds at Wells Fargo Center look to cheer on the 76ers. Let's hope we get a good team or good win. To the Celtics. I thought overall, Kevin, it was mostly a defensive effort that hurt them. Just no energy, no purpose. 
believe I thought they were late on their rotations. They didn't really communicate well, and as a result, they paid so -so. for it. Skip this and see the next score. Let's Let's go good score. Ah, oh, 15. For fuck's sake. Why is it 15? The 76ers leading by 10. The Sixers are going to build some yes. special on okay. the court. And to that end, they're planning to build a new 55,000 square foot practice facility close by at the Navy Yard. Now here's Shved. Coming in off a 12 point game, his last outing. Oh, I'm beautiful. <laughs> Falls to uh, White. He's averaging 15 points per game. Three assists and three yeah, rebounds. Yeah. And when you take his overall contributions on the whole, he's been putting up some pretty good numbers, but I think he can do more. So I'm heading right. Ball is heading left. Might not show all of what you're doing on the floor. And right now. The Sixers is about 11 miles away at a local college. That new practice facility is expected to open next summer, less than two miles away. Well, both from a competition standpoint and from a player relations, I mean, it makes sense. Players want the best, and you get a top of the line facility, it makes it much easier to recruit in free agency. Now, here's Rubio. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Shots oh, that's good. From Young. I like the awareness, the alertness, and the presence of mind to finish the play. And the 76ers will go for a different look here. Sims is checked in. Mahamute comes in. Good, good score, good score. Jason yes. Richardson is yeah. checked in for Thompson. And it's Williams in for Rope. Jang, he's checked in for Minnesota. Williams comes in for Ricky Rubio. Thaddeus Young is a left-hander out of Georgia Tech. He played one year in college. He's really rounded into a nice pro. He's a very unique player. He's a face-up, slashing power forward with a lightning quick first step. He's really hard to keep in front. No. He picked up 15 points in their last win against yes. Detroit. 139 left in the first quarter. Williams hits to Wiggins. But Trey. Offensive rebound. Second chance effort. And Tang gets it to go. He was the first Good. one to react to that, that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. Okay. Williams with the ball, averaging 10 points per contest. We've got 118 left to play in the first quarter. Sims kicks to Schved and stolen by Jang. Here's G. Now, 
Wiggins. He's got six, and he gets it to go. Booyah. I like the way he's not forcing anything, taking advantage of what the defense has given him. He's been a key contributor for them in this sport. And now we change it. Let's hope it's a good score. Next round. Oh, I'm next. <laughs> and here's the 2K leader for with the teams that have really been controlling the boards during the past month. The 76ers number one. I like how this team has been coming up big lately, Kevin. They seem to have a new dedication and energy to rebounding the ball, and it's paying off. You can read that when you pause it or not. The 76ers trail. Okay, you better not score, you better not score, you better not score. Oh, oh, oh. Averaging nine points for contest. Oh, 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 oh. Kicks it. Oh, hey. the Sims. Okay, Ben not the pick. Young with the steal. Now here's Williams. Defense right on him. Three pointer. And Young with the basket on the assist. Yes. This is from Corey Brewer. 19. Very good. Eight point. Here for Thaddeus Young. Looked like the defense was totally scattered on that fast break. Nice job taking advantage there with the wide open three. Schved with it. Williams picks him up. Schved the pass to Sims. Dishes it to Williams. Oh, oh, oh. To the left side lane. Didn't I have score? Hope that doesn't go bad in that last game. 24 seconds left to play here in the first. Outside Williams. Feeds to G. Finish to Young. That was supposed to be a dunk, you stupid. Went against Detroit the last time out. God. And that a lot of their scoring in that team. win came from unexpected If any Americans watching this and compare about me complain about their teams, I don't support basketball. And I don't support their team and god damn it, you motherfuckers. Through the first quarter, Philadelphia ahead, leading by just one. Live from Philadelphia. Tune in this mm. Saturday night, January 1st. LeBron James and the Cleveland Cavaliers take on Nikola Pekovic and the Minnesota Timberwolves. Live from Target Center. Tune in. We don't need those TV ads. I'll shut now and yet he wants well, up to this, this point, routine. A closely contested game as we start the second quarter. And guys, what's your take on the 76ers so far? It was a pretty solid first quarter for this club. They limited their mistakes and really took advantage offensively. You know what? I like what I've seen from them on the other end, forcing a few giveaways. That's uh, excellent pressure and good activity with the hand. Okay, I'm back and hope those dances on YouTube don't give me uh, 
19 scripted. And so we conclude the oh, first good, we're winning. Timberwolves lead by six. And now Thank you, team. We're winning. Time for half time break. All right, fellas, still anyone's ball game right now. A few things from the first half. The spacing we've been able to achieve with the outside threat tonight has been fantastic. We okay. don't have to rely entirely on the three. But Is this one again? <laughs> Did take advantage of 17, 16, uh, 11, 4, 8, 10, 4, 8, 9, 5. And guys, I don't want too many of us under the glass. After this video, I'm going to change the name. I sure that we always have at least Why did I call myself Sydney Carvey? What the fuck? Ready to the outlet pass and get an easy bucket on the break. We know we can take their best punches and hang with them. Now it's time to hit them with everything we got and see how they handle it. He should. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out away here in the third. Baby had another good score. In for the 76ers. What's that? Tony Roten comes in for Elliot Williams. Yes, 57. Ooh, they're catching up a bit, bit more. G's checked in for Wiggins. Subbed in for Ricky Rubio on the court for Minnesota. Half. He's in a shooting court. Bekovic is out there with Young. And there's JJ Barea. And it's Martin in a the small four. Here's Shed. Yes, shooting foul. Great job taking it right at the defense. I like the aggressiveness. Yeah, he left him no choice but to foul there. Six attempts for him at the line. He's made four. Oh shit! They're not fucking the score. I swear to God, if you score, if you fuck sake. Guys, he is close to where he was last year in that category, but uh, his numbers are still down just to score. If you score again, I swear to God, if you score again. If you score again, I swear to God. Come on, miss. Miss, 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 miss. Come on, miss. Good on both. Fuck! Why is it making that noise? Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Correa dishes to G. Young pass to Pekovic. Nice ball movement by Minnesota. Pass to G. He dishes it to Pekovic. He kicks it to G. Back to Pekovic. And oh, shit. the steal. Pass break, Philadelphia. Now let's send it to Doris from the sideline. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, thank fuck. Last year's rookie of the year, and Coach Brett Brown said he's more than he's bargained for. More skilled, tougher, prideful, and competitive. Why are you talking about me? Yes. Doing good. Give it up. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. <laughs> now here's Shred, guarded by Berea. Oh, oh. Now here's Shred. Nine points in the game so far. <laughs> Okay, I was in the Covered by Pekovic. Six on the shot clock. Oh, 
Poultry inside. Pekovic is there. Offensive rebound. Rebounds are split just about yeah. down the middle in this game, Clark. I'd venture to guess whichever team is able to maintain that energy level on the glass will have the upper hand the rest of the way. Borea kicks to G. Passes to Pekovic. And that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Boy, where was the box out? Too easy on that second chance opportunity. Yeah, no box out is what happened there. Those kind of mistakes on the glass will kill a team. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've had a number of empty ones a long time without a basket. Nope, no, 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 Do you see how men score? Oh shit. Okay, we're still winning. Fucking you know around score. He just scores. That's a fat real point. Yeah. He just has not been able to get into that groove yet, guys. But as a whole, it hasn't affected them too much. To the inside. It's stolen by Berea. Can you keep on going? Minnesota on the fast break. Berea with the ball. He feeds it to G. The kick out to Young. One. Down low that time, and he got the second goal. Wow, turn over. God's sake. And the 76ers with some changes. Said, you better than that. Not tonight, I'm not. Ah, oh, Jesus, never. Okay, 6-2-59. Be a good score. Oh, we're fucking using. We fucking lost again. Jesus. Their guys were able to come up with big plays down the stretch, and that's the difference. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of NBA basketball. Yay, we lost again. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the sake. Kevin Harlan saying, see you next time. Do not load or load. Looks like someone stole your puppy. Yeah, hmm. man. Shoot, we had that in our back pocket and let it get away. You want to hear a secret? Yeah, sure. Key to lasting in this league is never getting too high when you win and never getting too low when you lose. Uh, yeah. So the loss don't mean anything? Of course it means something. I need to learn from it and move on. Every loss is like an anchor on a rope. You let it go or it's going to drown you. Got it? Yeah, I got it.
Okay, weird. Okay, I've got three games left, but I'll do them next part, so... Quit. Wrong loading again. Okay, uh, hope you enjoyed this let's play, so please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll, sh and I'll show you next, uh, the next part next time, so please like, hey guys, comment, um, favorite, and subscribe, and bye-bye.